April 23, the ark moved to Jerusalem. Then King David was told, The Lord has blessed Obed-Edom's household and everything he has because of the ark of God. David now built several buildings for himself in the city of David. He also prepared a place for the ark of God and set up a special tent for it. Then he commanded, No one except the Levites may carry the ark of God. The Lord has chosen them to carry the ark of the Lord and to serve him forever. Then David summoned all Israel to Jerusalem to bring the ark of the Lord to the place he had prepared for it. This is the number of the descendants of Aaron, the priests, and the Levites who were called together. From the clan of Kohath, 120, with Uriel as their leader. From the clan of Merari, 220, with Asahiah as their leader. From the clan of Gershon, 130, with Joel as their leader. From the descendants of Elizaphan, 200, with Shemaiah as their leader. From the descendants of Hebron, 80, with Eliel as their leader. From the descendants of Uzziel, 112, with Aminadab as their leader. Then David summoned the priests, Zadok and Abiathar, and these Levite leaders, Uriel, Asaiah, Joel, Shemaiah, Eliel, and Aminadab. He said to them, You are the leaders of the Levite families. You must purify yourselves and all your fellow Levites, so you can bring the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel, to the place I have prepared for it. Because you Levites did not carry the ark the first time, the anger of the Lord our God burst out against us. We failed to ask God how to move it properly. So the priests and the Levites purified themselves in order to bring the ark of the Lord, the God of Israel, to Jerusalem. Then the Levites carried the ark of God on their shoulders with its carrying poles, just as the Lord had instructed Moses. David also ordered the Levite leaders to appoint a choir of Levites who were singers and musicians to sing joyful songs to the accompaniment of harps, lyres, and cymbals. So the Levites appointed Heman, son of Joel, along with his fellow Levites, Asaph, son of Berechiah, and Ethan, son of Cushiah, from the clan of Mirari. The following men were chosen as their assistants, Zechariah, Jeaziel, Shemaramoth, Jehiel, Unai, Eliab, Benaiah, Maaseah, Mattathiah, Eliphalehu, Mikniah, and the gatekeepers Obed-Edom and Jeiel. The musicians, Heman, Asaph, and Ethan, were chosen to sound the bronze cymbals. Zechariah, Aziel, Shemaramoth, Jehiel, Unai, Eliab, Maaseah, and Benaiah were chosen to play the harps. Mattathiah, Eliphalehu, Mikniah, Obed-Edom, Jeiel, and Azaziah were chosen to play the lyres. Kenaniah, the head Levite, was chosen as the choir leader because of his skill. Berechiah and Elkanah were chosen to guard the ark. Shebaniah, Joshaphat, Nethanel, Amasiah, Zechariah, Benaiah, and Eleazar, all of whom were priests, were chosen to blow the trumpets as they marched in front of the ark of God. Obed-Edom and Jehiah were chosen to guard the ark. Moving the Ark to Jerusalem Then David and the elders of Israel and the generals of the army went to the house of Obed-Edom to bring the Ark of the Lord's Covenant up to Jerusalem with a great celebration. And because God was clearly helping the Levites as they carried the Ark of the Lord's Covenant, they sacrificed seven bulls and seven rams. David was dressed in a robe of fine linen, as were all the Levites who carried the Ark, and also the singers and Kenaniah the choir leader. David was also wearing a priestly garment. So all Israel brought up the Ark of the Lord's Covenant with shouts of joy, the blowing of ram's horns and trumpets, the crashing of cymbals, and loud playing on harps and lyres. So David went there and brought the Ark of God from the house of Obed-Edom to the city of David with a great celebration. After the men who were carrying the Ark of the Lord had gone six steps, David sacrificed a bull and a fattened calf. And David danced before the Lord with all his might, wearing a priestly garment. So David and all the people of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouts of joy and the blowing of ram's horns. Michael's contempt for David. But as the ark of the Lord entered the city of David, Michael, the daughter of Saul, looked down from her window. When she saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, she was filled with contempt for him. From First Chronicles But as the Ark of the Lord's Covenant entered the city of David, Michael, the daughter of Saul, looked down from her window. 
When she saw King David skipping about and laughing with joy, she was filled with contempt for him. From 2 Samuel, placing the ark in the tabernacle. They brought the ark of the Lord and set it in its place inside the special tent David had prepared for it. And David sacrificed burnt offerings and peace offerings to the Lord. When he had finished his sacrifices, David blessed the people in the name of the Lord of heaven's armies. Then he gave to every Israelite man and woman in the crowd a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisins. From First Chronicles They brought the ark of God and placed it inside the special tent David had prepared for it. And they presented burnt offerings and peace offerings to God. When he had finished his sacrifices, David blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Then he gave to every man and woman in all Israel a loaf of bread, a cake of dates, and a cake of raisins. David appointed the following Levites to lead the people in worship before the ark of the Lord, to invoke his blessings, to give thanks, and to praise the Lord, the God of Israel. Asaph, the leader of this group, sounded the cymbals. Second to him was Zechariah, followed by Jeiel, Shemiramoth, Jehiel, Mattathiah, Eliab, Benaiah, Obed-Edom, and Jeiel. They played the harps and lyres. The priests, Benaiah and Jehaziel, played the trumpets regularly before the Ark of God's Covenant. David's Song of Praise On that day, David gave to Asaph and his fellow Levites this song of thanksgiving to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim His greatness. Let the whole world know what He has done. Sing to Him, yes, sing His praises. Tell everyone about His wonderful deeds. Exalt in His holy name. Rejoice, you who worship the Lord. Search for the Lord and for His strength. Continually seek Him. Remember the wonders He has performed, His miracles, and the rulings He has given. You children of his servant Israel, you descendants of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His justice is seen throughout the land. Remember his covenant forever, the commitment he made to a thousand generations. This is the covenant he made with Abraham and the oath he swore to Isaac. He confirmed it to Jacob as a decree and to the people of Israel as a never-ending covenant. I will give you the land of Canaan as your special possession. He said this when you were few in number, a tiny group of strangers in Canaan. They wandered from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another, yet he did not let anyone oppress them. He warned kings on their behalf, Do not touch my chosen people and do not hurt my prophets. Let the whole earth sing to the Lord. Each day proclaim the good news that he saves. Publish his glorious deeds among the nations. Tell everyone about the amazing things he does. Great is the Lord. He is most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. The gods of other nations are mere idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty surround him. Strength and joy fill his dwelling. O nations of the world, recognize the Lord. Recognize that the Lord is glorious and strong. Give to the Lord the glory he deserves. Bring your offering and come into his presence. Worship the Lord in all his holy splendor. Let all the earth tremble before him. The world stands firm and cannot be shaken. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Tell all the nations the Lord reigns. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the fields and their crops burst out with joy. Let the trees of the forest rustle with praise, for the Lord is coming to judge the earth. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Cry out, save us, O God of our salvation. Gather and rescue us from among the nations, so we can thank your holy name and rejoice and praise you. Praise the Lord, the God of Israel, who lives from everlasting to everlasting. And all the people shouted, Amen, and praised the Lord. Worship at Jerusalem and Gibeon David arranged for Asaph and his fellow Levites to serve regularly before the Ark of the Lord's Covenant, doing whatever needed to be done each day. This group included Obed-Edom, son of Jeduthun, Hosa, and 68 other Levites as gatekeepers. Meanwhile, David stationed Zadok the priest and his fellow priests at the tabernacle of the Lord at the place of worship in Gibeon, where they continued to minister before the Lord. 
They sacrificed the regular burnt offerings to the Lord each morning and evening on the altar set aside for that purpose, obeying everything written in the law of the Lord as he had commanded Israel. David also appointed Heman, Jeduthun, and the others chosen by name to give thanks to the Lord, for his faithful love endures forever. They used their trumpets, cymbals, and other instruments to accompany their songs of praise to God. And the sons of Jeduthun were appointed as gatekeepers. David returns home. Then all the people returned to their homes, and David turned and went home to bless his own family. From Second Samuel Then all the people returned to their homes. When David returned home to bless his own family, Michael, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet him. She said in disgust how distinguished the king of Israel looked today, shamelessly exposing himself to the servant girls like any vulgar person might do. David retorted to Michael, I was dancing before the Lord who chose me above your father and all his family. He appointed me as the leader of Israel, the people of the Lord, so I celebrate before the Lord. Yes, and I am willing to look even more foolish than this, even to be humiliated in my own eyes. But those servant girls you mentioned will indeed think I am distinguished. So Michael, the daughter of Saul, remained childless throughout her entire life.